This is Andy Perua for Boxing Social, and I'm now joined by John Ryder, the gorilla, getting ready to get back into the ring now. But John, how are you doing? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? I'm all good, thank you. Like I say, we've, we've come down today, and I thought the anticipation was uh, Ted Cheeseman was going to be the head of the bill, and then we find out you're going in a uh, final eliminator with Sor Sorokin. Uh, how did this opportunity come about? It's been on the cards for a while now. It was like in negotiations, and uh, got a call the other day that it's finally been signed and delivered. So yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. I mean, what what do you know about Sorokin? Uh, not not a, not a great deal, but I've not really started looking too much into the tapes of him. Uh, I've, I've seen his record. He's fought the likes of Mayorga and Ryan Ford. Ryan Ford's a good test. Mayorga is well past his name, but he's a he's a great great name, isn't he? But um, no, I think it'd be an interesting fight. He's, he's likes getting quick and in and out on his feet. He won't, I don't think he'll stand and engage too much, but it'll be an interesting fight. So is this a fight where you can see yourself getting another stoppage victory on the back of the Jamie Cox one? Uh, potentially, but uh, I'm not going to go looking for it. I'm just going to try and box him and play him at his own game. It'll be hard. To, it'll be hard. It'll be different to my last two opponents. He won't come and stand in front of me. He'll, he'll be on his bike most of the night. So I'll have to, I'll have to go chasing a bit, but smartly. Since your victory versus Jamie, you know, could you have, was this part of the plan that you was expecting to get a total so a total shot so well not a total shot but an opportunity to put yourself in the frame for a total shot so quickly? Uh, it wasn't. I was, I was hoping it would be, and um, Eddie's come through this this shot as a final eliminator. But um, no, I'm really happy. It's uh, it's nice. If, at, at the time when you, you're sitting around waiting for the call to see what's happening next year, you do question the game a bit. But then something like this gets delivered and you're buzzing again. I was about to ask, you know, James Cox victory was only a few months ago. So what was your plans in the back of your mind? Was Did Eddie say we are in talks for a final eliminator or was you looking at other routes or what other names were mentioned? Yeah, we were looking at other names. I could have had the, the, did talk about the Zouj fight and was in negotiations, but obviously Rocky Rocky got there and, and done the job, so well done to him. Um, yeah, it was, just, it was the summer months. It all, it all goes a bit quiet over the summer as well, so... We just I just enjoyed it and got back in for the new season and Eddie delivered this opportunity. And it's also the opportunity to fight for the super belt, so you could be going in against uh, the winner of the George Groves vs Callum Smith fight as well. Yeah, I mean, what, what a great fight that will be next week, uh, two weeks' time, sorry. But um, yeah, they're both great fighters and hopefully come through this on the 27th and I'll, I'll be in the ring with one of them. What are your thoughts on that fight? You know, who do you see coming through uh, victorious? It's just a, it's a real 50-50. It's a hard one to call. I suppose you've got to favour Groves as a champion. He's he's been to the highest heights and lowest lows as a, as a pro, whereas Callum's career has just gone along nicely. But um, it would be interesting. You could turn out to be a real classic fight. Whose style do you think would suit you more? Uh, I don't know. They're both very different. They're both great technically boxers. They're both both real good fighters. I mean, Callum likes to switch up to the body. So so does Jules. So I don't know. It'd be an interesting fight. I'd just like to fight the winner. The super middleweight division at the minute is in a terrific position and you've also got uh, Rocky Field in, like say, beat Zorga for the regular belt. Is that a fight maybe down the line that would be of interest to you as well then? Uh, yeah, potentially. I mean, but you've got Callum and George fighting for the number one spot, number one super middleweight in the world and that's, that's who I want to fight, the number one super middleweight in the world. And what are your thoughts on the rest of this card then? Obviously, Ted Cheeseman going in for a vacant British title, but a uh, British title, uh, Senior Byfield versus Luke Watkins, a massive fight for both of them on the back of defeats to, uh, uh, back of, uh, sorry, Chamberlain versus Watkins, but on the back of defeats. You know, what are your thoughts on the card? Uh, that's, a, that's a good fight to make, really. Watkins and Chamberlain, they both lost, they both lost to the same opponent, so it's, it's a natural progression for them two to fight. One will go on, and then the, the loser will be looking at where he goes next. But um, Ted Cheeseman, I've, I've trained with him daily, so I see how hard he works and the work he puts in. It's his, it's his time to shine, and he's a big opportunity. The likes of Felix Cash, he's, he's looking to step up for his first 10 rounder, hopefully a title fight. Uh, Martin Ward's coming back after his loss, that'll be interesting. I know he's, he's hungry to get back to the top, so it'll be, be a great night. You know, some of these guys, like you've mentioned, have had a, a loss on the record. You know, you've had losses on your record. You know, how difficult is it to bounce back from a defeat? Uh, it's a slow, lonely road. Do you know what I mean? It's um, one of them things, but it don't define your career. You, you can come back. I'm, I'm proof of it. Martin Moore will be proof of it because he, how hard he trains and how hard he works, he, he'll bounce back and he'll be winning titles again. So no, it, it is hard, but as long as you've got the right people around you, you, you will do it. If plans didn't fall your way come fight night and you wasn't victorious, 
looking forward, how do you look to come back into the game? What would be your plans in terms of moving further into the, your boxing career? Well, at, at world level, there's no disgrace in losing. But for me, it'd be, it'd be my fifth loss. and I, I don't think I can really afford to have another loss. So it'd probably be the end of the road for me. Well, John, thank you for speaking to us and enjoy the press conference. Yes, thank you. Thanks a lot.